wave. Hi, howdy, hey, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sorry about that. Your pal starts here today with, um, hopefully a decently high enough bit-rated, uh, Red Dead Online video. Look at that gentleman over there. So, today we are playing some Red Dead Online. Let me go ahead and whistle for my horse here. Um, I am working my way to my first five gold. Um, and if you, if you know the game of Red Dead Online at all, you do know it's a little bit of an extremely long and you know, tedious grind. But that's beside the point. There's my horse. Hello there, Maple. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, partner. Um, hello there, Maple. So, uh, yes, while the game is a grind and a half, um, I went ahead and I think just based on my character's appearance here, I might have, no, no, I have a hat. I was going to say I might have skipped the tutorial, but I didn't. I think I recorded that, which if I did, then you're either seeing this after that or in a separate kind of set of videos here, but we are here for one thing and I almost forgot about it but we are here for one thing and one thing alone uh, which is to kinda just give you a show or demonstrate here uh, the payouts today of stranger missions versus telegram missions and then other uh, world events and such each thing does its own thing telegram missions typically have a higher hit to your honor than, um, uh, negatively, anyway, than, uh, Stranger Missions. I am back. Howdy. Mm, what work do you got for me today? So, most free roam missions appear like this. You get a, uh, a train worker, a station worker, and then you get four options. You can go from a stolen wagon, a caravan escort, supply, and delivery. Stolen Wagon is probably up there with the quickest. Same thing with delivery. Supply, a little harder. Caravan Escort, in my opinion, that one's the easiest uh, because... I'm getting so tired of this whole rigmarole. I swear, I'd, I'd make more money shoveling shit. Anyway, the job <laughs> escorting some wagon from San Denis to Braithwaite Manor. Apparently, that Lemoyne gang's been attacking the stage routes again, so enjoy. All right, so he, uh, it's funny his lines were going before he could speak. Um, so yeah, that a uh, fine gentleman uh, right there on the side he just drew his gun. That's me, and I'm not driving right now. My hands are off the keyboard and off the mouse. The NPC is doing that for me, or the gentleman to my left here. Uh, yeah, with the uh, with the nice white clothing, by the way. It's amazing. Anyway. So this one's uh, a lot straight, a lot more straightforward. You just gotta keep your eye out for any do batters or whatever. I guess is the way to put it. It doesn't require all that much work, but the real reason we do these missions, and I mean, sure they net you money, but they net you something else as well. Tiny itty bitty tiny itty bitty, itty bitty, itty bitty small amounts of gold. And I mean, I know that's nothing to be like, ooh, ah, about, but it becomes something to ooh and ah about when you get a small gold payout for every stranger mission and a telegram mission and pretty much every mission on the map that you do. Story missions give you a higher kind of quantity of gold, and then obviously when you level up, you find a treasure chest and that'll have a maybe a gold bar in it or something but I feel like I don't know we did just leave yeah we, we just left the city I think we're fine for a little ways where we go there's some bad guys up ahead are you one of them where are you all running what happened to the what? That was weird. I expected some combat, but I guess not. Smooth sailing, okay. Anyway. Um. 
Is that a... What the hell is going on over there? Couldn't tell ya. Now, like I said, each and every story, mission, uh, just mission, ev everything pays out in gold. But also, most mostly, uh, in-game currency. I think I get like 20 bucks for this, maybe. Which is a fair amount. Okay. Music's getting intense. There we go. I'm a horses, my guy. All right, then. Doing good. In order to be followed by him. I still still going off over there. That's crazy. We're either gonna be followed by the miscreants or they'll despawn and appear later down the trail. Pardon me. Anyway. Well, the music's intense right now. It's gonna chill out or mellow out a little bit here as we keep going. Uh, both, I guess, you know what, now that I say about it, both, both missions kind of pay out in dollars and gold. Just telegram missions pay out more gold than stranger missions here. And you'll see that. We'll get, like, maybe .16 or something. If even that, that's, that's, a, that's a hefty amount there. Do I have any tonics or anything? They're really fresh character here. Need to, whenever I have a second, how much money do I have? Let's see. 43 bucks. It's not bad. I'm gonna need to stock up. Get some food for my horse. Get some food for myself. Because a happy horse is a stable horse. Remember that. That'll that'll save you uh, as you progress in the game here. The more you upkeep your horse, the happier you feel. And it helps contribute to the RP of it. Uh, particularly because, you know, I don't know. I, I like the style of this game. It's very nice. There's a lot of care, love, and attention put into these games. I mean, in, in my opinion, I, I, I feel there, there's more character in this game, and obviously it's because it's a period piece. But... I'm sorry. Mostly because it's a, like, a, like a period... I'm not going to say drama, but a, a period experience. Get him? Nice. Anyway. I know. Uh, because it's a, it's set in a time, it can wear its inspirations on its sleeve, and the story mode of the game does, to a T. But, um, I'm not, you know, really a critique of plot, story, or anything. Uh, my expertise falls more in the just base consumer side of things. And as somebody who plays games quite a lot for as a hobby the enjoyment of this is just it's it's amazing it's, it's always a really it's a really fun time almost 24 7 but yeah look we're almost, we're actually almost there the goal was to get over here and this these two gentlemen did that just fine we actually avoided quite a lot of trouble on the way here which was rather surprising if i do say so myself uh but hey you know the success is uh not always guaranteed, but when it does happen, it's a pleasant surprise. So, there you go. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Mission pass. Caravan expert. <clears throat> Escort, my bad. And then you can see here, we're going to get like... $20. Oh, I guess $10. $1. And 16... And point, ah, yeah, point 0.16 gold pieces. What did I say? So, that there... You know, 16 or 0.16 uh, gold nuggets, as I call them. Because, you know, they have a conversion rate or something. Um, and, like, I think a dollar or ten dollars or something. So, not necessarily the worst source of money, but not the best. And here's actually a cool trick. You can uh, enter the cinematic camera to have your horse automatically walk paths. 
you can kind of influence them if you feel like the need to. But anyway, so there are some strangers on the map, like this gentleman here. I know that that's a fisherman in a bayou that asks for your help disposing of, you know, predators and reptiles and such, like uh, gators and stuff, because he's a fisherman. He needs that. He needs that. Oh, change it to heartlands. I meant to change it to tall tree. There we go. I'm a little finicky with the way I spend my money on things. So, as you can see, we have a pretty great distance to cross. That'd be a big issue if fast travel weren't the most convenient thing ever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on over to my camp, or maybe I'll just a post office, because I think you can do the telegram missions from there too. And uh, we're gonna take my guns. Actually, we're gonna go shopping. We're gonna go to the city. We're gonna get some shopping done. And then I'm gonna see if, um, while we're there, if we can get the telegram mission started from there too. If we can, great, we'll do them there. Uh, you can start them at your camp as well, but you can, I think you can start them in a city too, because the post office is a thing, and your camp box just works like a post office. Anyway, I digress. So, we're gonna run <coughs> on over to San Denise, I think. So, I'll be back once we get there. Okay, it wasn't very long. We made it to... The town. I don't think this is San Denise. I think this is Valentine. I found out to you too. There, there, there. You know, I'm going to admit. Uh, now that we're here, um, there are a few downsides to the game. Like, there's a glitch. Howdy. There's a glitch. Um, every time. Pretty much. Uh, every single, and I mean every time, without fail, if you, while well, on the online version of Red Dead Online, I guess that's just the regular version, um, if you enter a stable on your horse, it glitches the game to where you cannot continue, it freezes you, so you have to shoe your horse, flee it, and then you have to walk in as you know, once your horse despawns, that's... Okay. Crazy and ridiculous. Do you have any gun oil in here? Gun oil. I'll buy two. Ten dollars spent in shops. Let's go. Trade award. Excellent. Hold this. Okay, and then we can maintain. So I know most don't maintain their guns, but it's it's always good to, to do it. Keeps their damage up. Keeps the functioning the things of the working. It's good. Again, character. Okay, so, on over to the post office. I did, gonna be honest, I did not try, I need to stop by the general store. See, this is what happens, I get sidetracked. Hey! What's going on? I'm gonna put that away. I'll be right back. Don't get hit, please. Thanks, Mipple. Oh, okay, sorry. I just assumed you couldn't read. <laughs> what a nice man. Thanks for assuming that I couldn't read, appreciate that. So, this is my area. We got canned salmon. Cans, strawberries, and sort of awful. These two things are my favorite. Here. If I'm being completely honest, canned strawberries are good for health. Canned salmon is good for dead eye. And we'll get an apple. Another? For uh, for maple. And then while we're here, we'll get some liquor too, because liquor is the way you recharge. Um, yep. Uh, uh, did I as well? I like gin because it instantly it, it doesn't have any negative side effects aside from making you little from tasting bad, I guess. All right, off we go. Good day. Okay, I lied. So you do in fact need to go to your camp in order to collect your telegram missions. So we will, I will go and do that, and I will be right back. Alrighty, I think we're close enough. Um. I'll tell you the way the game is built. There's a there's a post, not not a minutes, quote unquote, gallop from here. I do think grips. So now we're here. Uh, we're gonna wander on over to my box. Lock box telegrams. Okay, new source of employment. One horse deal. One horse deal. Outrider. Outrider. These are the business deals here. 
They're really good. Okay, I was just going to say that. Oh, really good. I have to go to a place, yoink a horse, and then deliver it to a man. All while having to tame it and hopefully not making any noise. So, it's going to be a test of my stealth. And we're going to try it. We're going to try and be stealthy. I'll tell you, there are, there are a few ways that this particular mission can go. It can either end in a reign of death, terror, and otherwise just complete and utter sorrow. Uh, or, you know, it could end positively, and I could leave without having stirred a soul. But that outcome is exorbitantly unlikely. So, we're gonna try and be stealthy here. By stealthy, I mean completely and utterly try to avoid any eyesight. Hopefully he stops at some point so I can knock him out. If you see me, it's a it's an all-out gunfight. I don't want to do that. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, good, he didn't see me. No, no, he, no, he didn't see me, but it does mean he's done chasing me. I have a feeling he knows I'm here. Get him! Get him! Get him! There we go. Ah. Okay. Well, it's on now. That was apparently heard. I don't know how, but here we are. Time for the fighting. I was rather meeting you guys. I need to take a second and breathe. Yeah, there is a gentleman. Up. In the, I don't I see him. There he is. Ah, crap. I let go of my cover. If you keep running for the most part, you won't really be all that down at a disadvantage. See, this is the firefight I was trying to avoid because these guys won't let me steal the horse without putting up a fight. Ah, crap. Ow. What? Since when were you hiding there? You see why I decided to stop and get some ammo? This mission is always a gunfight. Even if I manage to succeed in the stealth aspect. Tell you what, this horse is going to be a pain to calm down after this fight. Thankfully, on this difficulty, at a certain point, they stop coming. <sighs> okay. That should be good. Hate to ruffle through a dead man's pockets, but I need some coin. And that horse is in there. You can probably see why this thing pays well. You need to either be the most stealthy cowboy the world has ever seen. There you are. Just the stealthiest. Most quiet, most careful. Just... Yeah, just that. I'm gonna pat the horse. Pat the horse. I wonder if this makes it easier to break him once this time. Alright, here we go. Who's gonna try and bug me? There we go. See, now, if I had tried to do this and I had gotten caught and it was like a stealth thing. Uh, breaking the horse would have gotten their attention, they would have been really upset at me, and then they would have shot at me, and the horse would have bucked me, and that would have been really, really annoying. I have done this mission several times, I promise. And then they would send somebody after me or something, but let's push the horse, why not? Yep, see, already happening. This is a fast horse, though. Oh, I'm a 
Now it's time to run again. Excuse you. Oh my god, these guys know no kindness. I did not mean to kill the horse. I feel bad. I just gotta go. I just gotta go. Can't stop. I can't stop. Won't stop. Forget how intense these missions are. I need to get me one of these horses, though. This guy's fast. Yeah. You're fine. Okay. Okay. Hey, Maple, you made that. You're fine. You're fine, Maple. We'll grab these two things, and then we will hop on the horse and turn it into this dude down here. So, I'm doing this for a reason. The longer we spend working on this mission, the amount of more out of time, um, we spend, the more payout we get in gold, and for some inexplicable reason, once a mission starts, like the second you load in, timer or not, uh, there is another timer that starts at the same time, which dictates, and that timer, that timer that I mentioned, dictates how much gold you get after you complete the mission. So I like to do that. Uh, pick some stuff that I can sell later, eat, just to kind of kill time. So. Oh, what can I say? I am a right, specimen of man. Now. I'll see you next time. See, point three two gold. Significantly more return uh, on your investment of time. Telegram missions are way more worth the effort of doing them. So. Yeah, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. And I, I will say, um, once you do a mission, the game will load you in, and it'll take you from that loading spot. And then it'll load you in for real, and then your HUD will come up. So, and look at that, $26. Pays better, both in gold and in money. Hello, Maple. Alrighty, well, anyway, that's going to be it for little old me. I think I'll head back to camp and take a load off, so... Thank you all for watching. I hope this helps. If it does, thanks. I'm happy to help, and if it doesn't, that's okay, too. So... Have a good end. Uh, be kind to one another, I guess, and, uh... Have fun. So, I'll see you all in the next uh, episode. I do. Uh, goodbye!